Everybody ready? Uh-huh. Yeah. Cool. Welcome to the watering hole. We're sitting down today with the red clay strays. How are you guys doing? Good. 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 I'm a little hungover. A little hungover? No, not really. I'm not. <laughs> not yet. Surprisingly. Yeah, not, not yet. No, I've just been hammered for yeah. like three years. No hangover. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he was born with a buzz. Yeah. With a metal light, <laughs> son. Yeah. When he stops drinking, that's when the shakes happen. Yeah. <laughs> that's really how it works. That's, that's how alcoholism works. <laughs> yeah, we know that, Drew. <laughs> so, uh, uh, <laughs> can we go down the line here and introduce everybody and what you do in the band? I'm Drew. I play triangle. I'm Andy. I play bass. I'm Zach. I'm on xylophone. I'm John. I'm, I play the drums. And I'm Brandon, and I sing. He plays the marimba. <laughs> the marimba. I play guitar, by the way. I play guitar, too. So does Zach. We, we, we play guitar. We can't where'd, keep going. Where'd you guys come from last night? Um, Wichita, Kansas. Wichita, yeah. Kansas. Kansas. Yeah. And I heard someone saying you guys played with uh, Turnpike last night? Yep. Yeah, the... Okay. And what's it been like? What's it been like being out there with those guys? It's been fun. Uh, we've always been big fans of them, so it's it's mm-hmm. been great actually being kind of a a goal accomplished, I guess, being able to play shows with them. Yeah. Yeah. When he did that, when Evan Felker did that uh, Rolling Stone interview, like right before they came back out, I was like, they're coming back. Holy, had no idea at that point that we're going to be playing shows with them you know what i mean yeah. Yeah. so to go from reading that interview and being like yeah turnpike's coming back you know yeah mm-hmm. and then oh hey we're going to play shows with them i was like yeah and then they told us we couldn't drink and i was like damn well they can't we just can't drink like openly we can drink <laughs> <laughs> oh really yeah huh. that, 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 that's really interesting i i didn't know they had that rule on their their shows uh, yeah, yeah. Drinks, really so no alcohol no and it's, oh cool and it's oh, yeah. not a I feel it's it's cool, you yeah, know. Like yeah. it doesn't bother me at all. Like whatever keeps yeah keeps that beautiful thing happening. Yeah, that they got going on. It's awesome watching their shows too. Just I mean, like I said, like he said, we've been fans for a while. So just sitting out front and really getting the whole thing. Is this close enough? Am I close enough? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> really getting to watch the whole thing has been great. <laughs> so, uh, so can you, can you guys give us the origin story of the Red Clay Strays? How did everybody c- c- come to be? Zach? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had met Drew through a mutual friend, and then we had uh, Drew started booking for the little group we were in, and we got Andrew to play bass with us, mm-hmm. and then that group uh, dissolved, and we hired or we hired John right before it dissolved, and then best decision. And then it dissolved, <laughs> and then we hired Zach, and yeah. then Drew stopped booking, and he started uh, playing guitar. Wow. Wow, that's, that's awesome! Like easy yeah, that's it, yeah. it in a nutshell. Yeah, and and about what what era was this? What year was this? Uh, that was late 2016, and we started playing shows as the Red Clay Strays in uh, early 2017. Huh. Yeah, cause I came in in October, I think, it was, wasn't it? It was December of 16 when we first played as this uh, as this lineup. Yeah, the, the five of us. We just weren't called the Red Clay Strays. We were. I don't even remember what we okay. called ourselves. We were in the end. 17. So what went into that? What went into naming of the Red Clay? Can you shut that door now that they started in there? <laughs> yeah. That story is not very exciting. Give it to him, Andy. His my brother, brother came up with it. Really good. Just my brother just sent would send me names, and then we were all trying to come up with stuff, and we didn't we didn't really like it at first. Yeah, and it just kind of became something. Yeah, I think it's cool. It rhymes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it is, seems like it worked. Yeah, yeah. It's plural. Yeah. It's plural. It's plural. It works. In plural. Yeah. Yeah. So we we sat down with uh, uh, I think one of your friends. Uh, she actually said that uh, you guys played their uh, her wedding, uh, t- Miss Taylor Honeycutt. Yeah, we, we, we we sat down with her a, cu- uh, a couple weeks back. Dude, that yeah, we did. Uh, Early James was there too. That was and so cool. We partied, dude. I remember <laughs> things I remember about that wedding is they had a gigantic. Uh, it's called a grazing table. It's like a huge charcuterie board. But it's like a whole table. It's about yeah. as long. It was about as long as this camper is. Yeah, it was sick. And uh, wow. so I remember that, and I also remember going to sleep upstairs somewhere, and just waking up at like 4 a.m. And early James and a few other people were just out on the porch, and they were all picking songs. And I went down there and, and played songs with them till the sun came up. Yep. Wow. Huh. Then I, I got up and drove drove home and went to church. I remember <laughs> it was right on this like it's not as big as a lake, but bigger than a pond. But I was out with Taylor Honeycutt's guitar player at the time, and we mm-hmm. didn't have fishing poles, but it's like you pay a lot of money to fish on it. They have, like, F1 tiger bass 
I remember that being cool, mm-hmm. just walking around and being like, I wish I could fish. Fish and yeah. play. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that kind of sucked. Yeah, but it was cool. Are, are, are you guys all out outdoorsmen? Do you guys like hunting, fishing, stuff like that? Oh yeah, we just never have time to. Yeah, never have time to. Yeah. Do you and anybody play golf into sports at all? Watching it on TV or playing it or <laughs> do, do people me actually and, watch golf? Me and Drew. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. None yeah. of us really play golf, but me and Drew are probably the sports guys. Play okay. Mini golf. Yeah, I we'll love play, golf. We'll play some mini golf. We'll do some top golf or something. I played. Yeah. I played golf like four or five times. I don't count. <laughs> I played once with my grandpa when I was like, really young. That really doesn't count. Golf is something I've always wanted to get into, you but again, it's a special club. It's about, yeah, it's about the same as the hunting and fishing. Is just you never have time. You can't yeah. get the cheap clubs, Brandon. You got to get custom made, like tall people clubs. Yeah, yeah. they're gonna be gold. That actually would be <laughs> he loves cool. gold. That yeah. would be tight, dude. If anybody out there is, makes golf clubs. Brandon needs a Brandon gold needs some gold, gold ones. Or just gold. Gold plated gold would pass. Yeah, gold yeah. plated. It ain't going to be like solid. Gold, gold would be too soft for a golf club, right? Well, it could <laughs> probably bend. It could look like a scientist, dude. Gold is soft metal, dude. It's, soft metal. <laughs> it's malleable. But yeah. I turned this off. Hey, you, bro. <laughs> so who are you guys listening to when you're in the bus? Are you all listening to the NPR. same stuff or individual stuff? We Aside actually, from uh, we don't listen to music. <laughs> yeah, we really don't. Really? No music? Uh-uh. Um, we've been on a comedy kick for a while. Really? Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. I think that's pretty common with musicians, though. Yeah. I heard you guys talking about Theo Vaughn out there. Did you guys do Theo Vaughn? Do what? <laughs> or was that just a joke? <laughs> I, I heard answer. someone say something about doing Theo Vaughn's podcast. Can you talk about it? I don't know. Can talk about it. Uh, this won't come out for yeah, this will come a while, but yeah, we yeah, we, me and Andrew did Theo Vaughn. Wow, but yeah, we, I didn't uh, know that. We so did, you like uh, to watch stand up comedy? Yeah, we do. Oh, oh, okay, absolutely. Who are some of your favorites <laughs> yeah. out there? Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah. Dave I mean, Dave Chappelle's Dave the goat. The best, yeah. We uh we we're, we're really big into this show called Kill Tony. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, we actually got to go to a Shane Gillis show because they were he was in the same town we were, and. Uh, you know, he invited us out, or our tour manager reached out to his people, and they, they said we could come out to the show, and we get out, and are walking in backstage, and then Tony Hinchcliffe is just out there smoking a cigarette. Dude, he's just chilling. He's like, oh, hey, guys. <laughs> Dude, he sounds yeah. just like he sounds. I know that's yeah. weird to say, but he does. We met uh, Shane that night and Jeff Ross that night. Yeah, we, we oh, really? Rose, yeah. Yeah, the other yeah. It was cool. We, we, met, we met Tony. And then we're freaking out about that, and just walk right through the door, and then Shane's just standing there. Just and it's like they were waiting on us to get there to say hello. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. So like, y'all, come, y'all come hang out afterwards. And then we went up here? to his suite and just... I think all that started with long... When we were driving ourselves, those long all-night drives, mm-hmm. you kind of get tired of listening to music at some point. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can definitely see it. And having, like, the new content, like, with Kill Tony, how they post every Monday, and then, like... There's like so many specials. It seems like comedy is kind of coming up from what it was like, like maybe five years ago, especially with the, the Austin scene and everything. Yeah, it's a great, great time for comedy. Something cool Absolutely. about comedy is Joe Rogan just followed us on Instagram last Really? Yeah. Yeah, he did. How that's cool awesome. Was that? That was that's really awesome. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> Mom, we made it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were working. We've been working so hard to get Joe Rogan's intention and he followed us. That's awesome. Now they're just waiting yeah. for that DM to pop yeah. up from. Oh, from that yeah. Did, yeah. We, yeah. We, we sent him a DM and he, <laughs> and he responded to it. Oh, really? Cool. What did we say and what did he say? We were just like big fans. We told him we were coming out to kill Tony and he was like, if I'm in town, I'll come out too. He said y'all are killer. The... Cool. He said That's we were killer? Awesome. Yeah, he had he had Sturgill and his whole band on that yeah. on his yeah. podcast. So the dude's got good taste. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it, uh, do you guys like Ron White before we get off comedy? Oh, absolutely. Ron White, yeah. 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 It's one of, yeah. The, one of the legends. I mean, our yeah. comedy goes all the way back to, uh, we were watching comedy stand-ups from the 80s. And, Richard Pryor is yeah. my yeah. favorite. Yeah. Really? My, old, old Eddie Murphy. Oh, what, Eddie Murphy, what yeah. was that that we were listening to? In the, uh, I think it was when we were doing that Denver thing where yeah. y'all didn't sleep forever, and we were just li- what you remember it, that guy? I don't remember that guy, but I wish I Dude. did. Yeah, it was like an old eighties, or was it? 90s? No, that was early two thousands. Early two thousands. It was so like, damn like funny. Like multiple dude. stand-ups, and there were like a lot of them were like known. Like, no, that yeah, that was the eighties. That was a uh, Sam Sam Killig, the screaming guy. Oh, I wasn't talking about. I wasn't talking about Sam. Sam Kennison, Kennison yes, Kennison? yeah. yeah. He he was a preacher, dude. Yeah, he was a preacher. <laughs> but uh, that's crazy <laughs> yeah, to think about. Yeah, because he's he's far from that. Yeah, I mean, he's dead yeah. now. But yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. We, we, Drew's we, been drinking tequila and tonic. <laughs> really? So do you guys listen to like stand up specials like on YouTube and stuff, or do you listen to like the podcasts while you're just about uh, all, about all of it? Yeah. All, all of it. Anything? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of time to kill. Yeah. 
I, I recently got, got into Dan Soder. I, I, I watched his new special. Is and it I, good? Oh, my God. I know who he is, but I haven't watched it. Yes, I, I love Dan, Dan Soder now. I'll tell you who was not funny is... <laughs> Don't say that. I'm a huge yeah. fan, dude. <laughs> He's not funny. I'm a huge say fan. It. Say, it. say it. Say it. Parker Millsap. <laughs> <laughs> well, so after... Oh, Pete Davidson. Yeah, it's Pete Davidson. Yeah, thanks for just, <laughs> just snatching it out of my mouth. Hey, dude, you going to do it? Just see that. Yeah, yeah, he's not funny. Well, tell all. the story. We went to stand up after one of the shows, and it's just like, why are we here? Yeah, he I wouldn't bored. really consider him a stand-up comedian as much as he was like an SNL skit guy. Yeah. But yeah, disaster. Have you watched his specials though? A previous like I watched well, it in person. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah. see, I, I mean, because I watched his specials mouth. in like. I think they're freaking hilarious. This was probably the same. I wonder if you were just bombing though. No, yeah. people were laughing, but it, I wasn't. Really? They were probably fake laughing. Is that? I think that's <laughs> what Sevens now, was just like. Kind of laughing because everybody's there for a comedy show. Are, are Are you guys excited for Shane Gills' new series on Netflix to come out? What is it? Uh, tires. I don't. Are y'all I haven't. I haven't heard really. Of it. So he. Uh, it was like a couple years ago. He posted like this like pilot sketch. Of uh, it was like them working like in like a basically a tire shop. <laughs> oh, is shit, the, it's the and I've seen all of the Gillian Keep stuff. <laughs> yeah, it is the funniest yeah. sketch that he's done, Damn. and it was never like really put out with Gillian Keeps, and it's so funny. And then I think I think that's going to be the pilot for this Netflix show that he's putting out. Cool. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, I think it's May twenty third. It kind of comes out. So. Hell, was cool. it the one that was like a commercial for the shop they were working in? Uh, it was kind of like, like that. It was more kind of like a. Almost like a like an office documentary type thing where it was like there were <laughs> yeah. yeah oh my gosh it seems so like funny. those skits not I guess skit shows can I get some water before we start this one here you go yeah. tastes that much better out of a bad Brad's cup mm-hmm. hey guys it's Rhett from the Watering Hole podcast we want to tell you about Bad Brad's barbecue the longest running sponsor of this podcast mm-hmm. and we really can't thank them enough for that Bad Brad's has all kinds of dates coming up I've got a list here all the way into the fall when they're better. Uh, Emily Hollingshed, winner of the Battle of the Bands, one of the top three finalists. Uh, Cade Roth and the Black Sheep, they're also going to be playing there coming up. Lowdown Drifters, and for you comedy fans out there, Uncle Laser is coming right here to Stillwater to Bad Brad's Barbecue. you got to check it out. When you come see one of these awesome shows at Bad Brad's, you have to try the food. I'm a fan of the jalapeno cornbread and the smoked brisket. While Jagger's a huge fan of the dirty fries, try one of those out. Tell Vernon we sit you. And we can't thank Bad Brad's enough for sponsoring this podcast. Iron Muck Brewing Company. Hey guys, it's Jagger over at the Watering Hole. Have you guys ever been sitting out on a hot summer day and been thinking, man, I would just love a really nice ice cold beer? I've got just the thing for you. This is an Iron Muck beer made here, right here in Stillwater. And they've been making the best beer around for years now. And this beer right here is actually the Calf Rye beer. So you're actually watching a Calf Rye episode right now. We interviewed artists over at Calf Rye back in May and uh, Iron Muck hooked us up with a calf rye beer, and it was a special beer made just for calf rye, and it's one of the best beers around. It's one of the most crushable beers you'll ever taste. And they not only just have this one, they also have uh, the 1890, which is actually the official licensed beer of Oklahoma State, and then other ones like Stilly Wheat, and then the, their new Servette base that they have out there now. So you guys go check, check out Iron Muck beer for some of the best beer around, and thank you to Iron Muck Brewing Company for sponsoring this podcast. Tumbleweed Dance Hall. Hey guys, it's Rhett from the Watering Hole Podcast, and we want to give a huge shout out to the Tumbleweed right here in Stillwater. The Tumbleweed's been a huge part of our podcast and helping us get artists. And of course, as you know, they put on Calf Rye, as you can see behind me, one of the greatest festivals around, and that's the episode you're seeing right now, is what we did at Calf Fry, thanks to the Tumbleweed. Um, they have all kinds of concerts lined up. They are closed during the summer, but time fall comes back around, they'll have a great lineup for you. I really wish we could share some details on that, but you're going to want to stick around to hear that. Thank you to Tumbleweed Dance Hall for sponsoring this podcast. Show Comedy shows are becoming more popular. Yeah. We watched, or like Bert has one, the cooking one, and then yeah. uh, I don't guess it's really, I guess you can consider, consider it comedy, but uh, Theo went on and did the, it's like the Down Syndrome guys that cook. Have y'all seen that one? I don't know the name. I, I saw uh, that one, yeah. Yeah. Those are pretty funny. Yeah, those seem to be getting more popular. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, the, I'm the really Shane Gillis one. Really, it's like the funniest thing I've yeah, ever seen. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the funniest. I'm definitely one. gonna check that out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all. Awesome. There's a few clips of it on YouTube, but I think they pulled the the full length video down. Oh yeah, but, yeah. probably in. Yeah, getting ready yeah. for May yeah, the 23rd. Exactly. His stand up's incredible. Yeah, just yeah. a funny dude. Gosh, and he's hilarious. he's that he's funny. the same way when you're just standing around bullshitting. Yeah. Except yeah. for he's not <laughs> doing his hands. With the microphone. 
you guys watch like TV series and stuff like that too, or yeah, yeah, yeah. What are some of your favorite series right now? Fallout. Fallout yeah. was Fallout. incredible. Yeah. Really? I loved it. Have y'all watched that? Uh-uh. No. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I never play, play the game, so I was like, ah. Eh. But I've been seeing a lot, lot of it, like on Dang, social media. It's I like, loved it. It's very good if you've very good if you've played the game. Okay. I, I, see, I've I never yeah, played the game. I don't think you need to play the. You don't games. need uh-uh. to. Play it, but yeah. if you have, it's there's really a lot. It, it, is it kind of like the 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 Last of Us, where it's like like I never played the Last of Us, but I loved it. It's more. It's less serious than Last of Us. Okay. But in a lot of gore. But in the same way, like if you've never played the Last of Us, you can watch that show and it's fucking badass. Okay. Yeah. I feel it's like that. Yeah. I, I, I'm about to go, go check it out. Dude, check it. Dude, it's so sick. If you yeah. have played Fallout, there's a lot of cool Easter eggs. Yeah. So. Yeah. Apparently, I need to go home, buy the game, play. play Fallout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never could do get into it, dude. Like, I tried several through. times. Yeah. Start at Fallout 3. Fallout 3? Yeah, yeah. start okay. at Fallout 3, go to New Vegas, and then do Fallout 4. Cool. Awesome. I'll Drew, do the the Fallout. Drew is the yeah, Fallout guy for sure. I haven't played 76 yet, but you're not missing much. I'm a fan. Have you guys seen the new Roadhouse yet? Yeah. No. I haven't seen it yet. I watched like the first. It was Brandon. hilarious. How was McGregor in that, by the way, Brandon? I thought he did good. Cause I was wondering. Yeah, I thought he did really good. Are, are, are you guys UFC fans as well? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we yeah. all love the fight. Do, uh, do you guys <laughs> follow a single fighter, or do you just like, kind of watch all of it? I'm just um, gonna watch all. Oh, of we kind of watch all of it. a lot. Yeah, I, yeah. I've been watching Patty since he got into the Patty's UFC. Awesome, yeah. yeah, Patty's an entertaining one. Did you see the Justin Gaethje fight a couple yeah. weeks ago? That was they, crazy. Yeah, him and Max Holloway. Uh-huh. Yeah. He was like, we're going to stand right here. And it was that nasty knockout right there. They're going to be uh, hanging out with Joe Rogan at the UFC events here yeah. soon. Yeah, that was, Dana White and Joe Rogan. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to get in there, dude. Yeah. So we, we, we haven't even talked about it. You guys are playing calf right. Is this your fir- guys' first time in Stillwater, Oklahoma? Uh, I think so. I'm not sure. Stillwater sounds familiar. We've probably been. That's yeah. uh, almost famous, dude. But. No, the first time here at the end of the band. Yeah, yeah. It, it it's re- really exciting to be able to see like them get you guys out here to come play because I know there's a lot of fans that here in Stillwater of you guys to come. They're going to come out and watch, watch you guys play tonight. So we're re- really excited to see everything tonight. Cool. Yeah. How, we're, weirdly good following in Oklahoma. We don't really come out here a whole lot. Yeah, I was going to ask how many shows you guys have played out here in Oklahoma. Oh shoot, you could count them on one hand, I believe. Yeah, yeah. We've done Tulsa yeah. with L. We did yeah. Copal. Copal. Oh, yeah, way yeah. back. You know where uh, Quopal? 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 Really? Yeah. Hey, what? Dude, it sucked. We played at the casino. casino. Oh, you played at really? the casino. Okay. I had to play electric drums. Way okay. early on in our career, and it was... Really? Yeah, they had a strict... You, while you're on, on the clock, you can't drink. We had to wear crappy in-ears. It sounded like crap. It was like nothing but old folks, and they cut the bar off at midnight. So really? played on electric kit. Yeah, yep. electric drum kit. Huh. Well, that's actually kind of up in our neck of the woods. We're, we're originally from Northeast Oklahoma. There's nothing over there. Yeah, yeah there's, <laughs> there's a casino. Yeah. There, there's there's a plenty of it casinos. Was downstream, yeah. downstream. Is that what oh it's called? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, downstream. Yeah, that was downstream. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a college up there called Northeastern Oklahoma A and M College, and I went to college up there. It's like five minutes down the road. Um, that was the party spot. <laughs> Yeah, that was where all the people went to play bingo. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, dude, yeah, the, party the party spot, spot yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, frat boys and eighty-year-old women playing bingo together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> intoxicated. <laughs> yeah. So I I know Stillwater's really appreciative of you guys coming out today, and uh, I know I know we're excited to watch you guys play. We've heard we we wanted to go down to Mile Zero Fest. Yeah. You guys played Mile Zero. It's Fest. the best. Yeah. yeah, for real. That's yeah. one of the best festivals in the country. We've heard like nothing but good things about yeah. it. It's a vacation. It's the it's best. Incredible. <clears throat> Yeah, we 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 had the opportunity to get, go down there, but it was just the getting down there part that yeah. was the hard thing because it's that kind of what makes the the festival a little more special is like yeah. the low attendance. Not low. I mean, it's it's a good size for what they have. I think they max they cap it at three thousand, but because it costs so much to get down there, so much to stay down there, you get a good quality fan. fan yeah, yeah, yeah. The people that, that go there really want to be there, and they they come and see us like, they, all they over all the country. Pre- all appreciate the music, and yeah, it's just people from all. It's good over. people down there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I've always heard some re- really cool stories about, like, not even, like, the acts that are scheduled for the festival, but, like, the ones that are playing the bars throughout the day, yeah. people going and hanging out, and, like, the next year's, like, they're, like, headlining the festival, because yeah. that's it, just, like, that so talent. There's so much to do outside of the festival, too. Like, the food down there is incredible. Oh, yeah. And it's just, that's one of my favorite places to be. It's so pretty. All that, all those cool houses. Yeah. It's We're, gorgeous. We'll, and like, it's right at this last week in January, last mm-hmm. weekend, so it's cold everywhere else except there yeah, yeah and we're just there just getting melanoma <laughs> <laughs> yeah we uh 
we had the opportunity to go down and do media, but it was like, wow, we can't afford it like right now. But we're hoping that we can save up and then next year go down there and do media and Dude, be able to set up. You've and got kinda, to. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. It's worth it. Um, during soundcheck, we heard you guys playing uh, Randy Travis cover, <laughs> Digging Up <laughs> Bones. <laughs> is, that a, is that something that ever pops into the set or was that just for... That was just for sound check. Oh, okay. okay. Brandon's got a plethora in his head. Well, it sounded great. Yeah. And uh, we actually, crazy enough, Randy Travis was here two weeks ago, Whoa. and we got a chance to meet him. They had a, they have a Battle of the Bands competition out here. And uh, so the first band that opens up tonight will be the winner of the Battle of the Bands. Oh, cool. Really? And yep. uh, Randy was one of the final judges. Oh, so we got to meet him, and it was kind of a crazy. It was something I never thought we'd be able to do, but yeah. it, was, it was pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys play... Uh, I'm sure you play covers during your set. Uh, you don't no, play no, covers? No, no covers. Not even one? Not no. usually. Not really? Usually. That, that's if, cool, actually, yeah, because... stick to the thing unless Brandon gets a wild hair and he just throws one on us. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we did that with Ben Chapman, and that's the first... What was what was that? Last year. No, the cover that we did. Oh, uh, was Waylon? Yeah. Way Morse Blues? Yeah. Mm. What, Waylon? Yeah, what was yeah. your question? Uh, I don't even remember. I, was saying, <laughs> I think I was saying it was cool that you don't do covers because everybody, almost everybody, does covers. Yeah, a few at least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I I I know everybody that's gonna, gonna come out is like, are gonna be huge Red Clay fans. They're gonna be out here like, I want to hear all their songs. So what what is able to make it into the set on a night like tonight? Well, a night like tonight, we're only playing an hour, mm -hmm. so we're about thirty to... minutes less than what usually. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just trying to <laughs> pick and choose what songs we want to play message wise and then what songs are the best as far as how popular they are and what songs are the best musically and what we can get into and it's just trying to balance all that in uh -huh. i guess our set's about about 15 17 songs yeah so we just try our best to, to do that We're, we play all of our new stuff too yeah and our album hasn't even come out yet so yeah that's how we test them do you have a like a time frame that the new album will be out? It'll definitely be this year. It'll be this yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Um, It'll be before it gets cold outside. Sooner than later. Sooner so later. the the there's a song "Killers." In that song, there's like little clips of you can hear like a radio noise. Dude. When yeah. you when you put that song together, did the it was it just like this has to be in there, or was there some debate like? If you put something like that in a song, it's not gonna maybe perform as well, but it's gonna, we it's gonna really, give we the don't, proper message. We didn't really care about if it performs well. It was just making art. Right. Um, the guy we recorded with was named Noel Webster, and he uh, had that audio. So that audio was from Vietnam, and he had. Actual, oh really? Wow. Yeah. So he uh, what the the tape recorder was in the guy's backpack. The guy. In the audio, it ended up writing a book or something. I don't know the name of the book, but uh, the battery died in the tape recorder, and all the, so the footage recorded really, really slow. And they had to. Noel's job was to restore the recording, and he used the sound of the machine guns, the cadence of the machine guns. Uh, whatever, what, what were they using? They were AKs. AKs. Yeah. So they they found out what the firing rate of the AK, and then matched that up with the sped it up until it you know matched matched up and that's how they restored it to the correct speed wow and then we wanted to claiborne, claiborne. yeah he claiborne kinda, claiborne he kind of pulled that out and we were like that's kind of cool like we listened to him like damn yeah. that's cool. then we we're like can we put that in there yeah, he's like yeah we can make it happen then we we're like it's definitely got to go in there yeah wow well, that was the first time we've ever had like a, I guess like an external sound like yeah anything added in post like that in it our music mm -hmm. yeah that's not played so that was really it was really cool to create. Yeah, it's not one of the more popular songs, but it was it was fun for us, and we think it's arranged pretty cool. Yeah, we did some fun stuff to record that one. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a. I was talking to him about that yeah. earlier. Um, that song came on a playlist we had, and it was like, I was like, you know, I wonder if they, when they're making this song, if it's like, well, it's not going to be like a top song necessarily because people people it doesn't it seems like you know they things like that they don't look as deep into it as they should mm -hmm. a lot of people anyway um but i think that's super cool yeah you can't you can't think about things like that if you're trying to make a hit song or a top song you just mm -hmm. have to just make art yeah you know, nobody art knows. that you're proud of and yeah, yeah. nobody knows we, we couldn't told you that wondering why would have been the most popular one off the last record mm -hmm. 
Really? It just ha- yeah, it's just oh, whatever the fans want to <laughs> want it to be. I th- yeah. I think the little Easter egg things like that are cool with yeah. like the recording and things like that. Do you have anything sort of like that on the on the new stuff? Not really. Not so. really. No. There's no. a lot of Easter eggs on the first record. They weren't maybe weren't intentional Easter eggs. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of ghost notes and ghost sounds in the <laughs> from like <laughs> multiple like where we had to re-record. You can yeah. hear stuff in the background, which at the time was frustrating, but after a while it's kind of, you know, it takes part of character of the song. Yeah. yeah. Kind of neat. If you listen closely, you'll hear it sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> you'll hear Brandon's voice actually picking up on like a guitar mic or a drum mic because we're all in one room together and recorded it like that, so it's a lot of bleed over. Huh. So that kind of stuff's pretty cool. We didn't yeah. really pick it up till the end. It's kind of like, well, we're going to leave it in there. Yeah. I forget what song it is, but I'm it's one very noticeable. moving from, I think it's actually Moment of Truth, maybe, that just, it just nosedives. I just completely, oh, fuck. yeah, it's just, yeah. it's so, like I had this, this little buddy of mine is, I don't even know if he's, I think he just turned 21. He called me, he was like, hey bro, uh, go to this timestamp, what is that? I was like, it's called A Mess Up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and it made it in there, so leave me alone. <laughs> well, what we were doing was, where we messed up, we were playing with a freaking metronome. Yeah. I think yeah. it was just me playing with a metronome. Me and Andrew. I didn't have no metronome. We would split the earbuds. It, so, I mean, we, you so you were trying to slow slow down to get back on beat with the metronome. We yeah. should have just let the song yeah, we don't yeah, we'll, tracks. We'll never do that again, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah, we we're not one of those bands that do that live, so it's not that we're well, we're not great with metronomes then. Yeah. So if the for it's the tough. bands that do it live, is it like in your in ear you can hear them? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, like when we were with yeah. Elle, we got when you're when you're side stage, she'll they'll her monitor girl would let you wear some in ears and you can listen to the mix. I mean, it's like chorus one, two, three. I mean it's <laughs> straight distraction. Huh. Not the way we do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> By hand no. Hand. Our, our music naturally slows and speeds up. Yeah. On por- purpose or accident. Yeah. And <laughs> it is what it is. I think you said naturally. That's the, that's the thing about it is yeah. it's natural to do. Yeah. That's the thing about that, you know, that push and pull. It's, mm-hmm. it's You can really move the energy and feel the energy that way. Make it drag, make it go faster, whatever. It's just however you're feeling in that moment. We're all picking up on each other pretty well so yeah so uh we have a lot a lot of small artists on our, our on our channel a lot of times we, we love being able to like talk to them and see where they're at in, the, in their journey so are there any small artists like from around your area in alabama or even that you've played with that you really should get some like r- r- recognition or that we, we should be on the lookout for that album that taylor honeycutt dropped really is mm-hmm. so good and yeah, Alabama sound. They absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I've, I I burnt that motherfucker to pieces. You know, <laughs> like I'm still that's that's yeah. what I'm listening to. Yeah. You know, I'll text Josh every now and then when I hear when I hear something, you know, different, and be like, oh shit, bro, that's so sick. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. Ben Chapman's another another yeah. great mm-hmm. one too. He's my. Yeah. He's my favorite. Our openers we pick are really really good. We hand pick our opener. Really. Yeah, like Ben That's Chapman, awesome. Eddie Nimebolt. Yeah. Blissful RV Rentals. Hey guys, it's Rhett from the Watering Hole Podcast. We want to give a huge shout out to Blissful RV Rentals. Now, we'll throw some pictures up, uh, but we had one of their RVs for our calf fry episodes, as you're watching now. Hope you're enjoying those. We worked with the team over at Blissful RVs to find the perfect RV for us. Now, they worked with us on the size of the RV, the time we needed the RV, and they even delivered the RV for us. So we can't thank them enough for that. It truly was a great fit. If you need an RV for any of your travel needs, contact Blissful RVs today. Thank you to Blissful RVs for sponsoring this podcast. See, it's Lone Star Promo. Hey guys, it's Jagger with the Watering Hole. I'm holding some of our brand new merch here, and this is made by our friends over at CH Lone Star. CH Lone Star is one of the best merch companies out there, and they'll serve all your artist needs, but they also will serve even your personal needs. So Cody over at CH Lone Star, can do just about anything you want. If you want a pair of socks, Cody will put your face on those socks. If you want a pair of underwear, Cody will put a, your, your face on a pair of underwear. Now, CH Lone Star is one of the, uh, the premier merch companies of the country scene or really any, any music scene out there. You guys go ch- check out CH Lone Star for some of the best merch out there. Thank you to CH Lone Star Promo for sponsoring this podcast. Yeah. Um, I think Early James was. Early James. James. I was gonna say, that's what the one I was gonna say you mentioned one earlier. Hey, my wife's record rocks. Yeah. Yeah, Lorianne. Yeah. Lorianne Armour. Nicks. Lorianne Armour Nicks. <laughs> cool. 
Yeah. We'll have to. I don't know if I've heard of. I've heard of Ben Chapman and obviously Taylor, uh, but I don't think I've heard of any of the others. So we'll Eddie definitely have to check those out. Yeah. Dude, dude you got to uh, check Eddie Nine Volt out. We'll really? play some of that shit for you when we get yeah. done. Cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a song, Florian, that uh, sometimes I forget that I'm happy. I love that. Is that on that album? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great stuff. Yeah. That that whole that whole album is another one that's mm -hmm. from front to back. She put that I out really right enjoy. when COVID hit, and her album release party was actually canceled. Of course, right when COVID hit, so she just it took all the air out of out of the tires for her. She, you know, John, she you still need, plays. You need to record another album for. Her. Yeah, we talked about it. I just I suck. <laughs> With Fair. that attitude, you always will. <laughs> Thanks, Papa. <laughs> but the truth, but the truth hurts sometimes. Is there? What are you doing? That's <laughs> <laughs> one of them sideways. Now I just don't know what what, John Hall. what to think. You don't record do it. your records with John Hall. Don't do it. I won't. I won't. I won't let you. John <laughs> has a studio. He's, and he's it's cheap. in my parents' garage. Are your roommate? Are your roommate? Uh, my roommate's garage. It's in his roommate's garage. Yeah. My roommate. Your I got roommate. that from Pete Davidson. <laughs> That's, That's why it's not funny. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah, dude! Full See, circle. I got more laughs than he did. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I'm dumb. <laughs> Think you're funny. Who Who are some artists out there that have influenced each of you in your playing style, singing style, uh, whatever it may be? What's up, dog? Sweet. We'll get it in a minute. We're in a podcast. <laughs> that was the guy driving us to the hotel and back. I think his name's Richard. Awesome. Yeah. What is? It? Oh, really? Yeah. Richard. Random Rick. Richard. Richard. Rick. Rick. Random Richard Rick. Rick. He, <laughs> Rick. He's super Richard cool. Rick. What was the question? Oh, our influences. <clears throat> what are your influences, Andrew? What are your influences, Brandon? What are your influences, Zach? I don't really. Listen I think to one. Much. Uh, uh, Ronnie Van Zant. Uh, they always say Leonard Steve Skinner Gaines, every single time. Uh, Gary Rossington. <laughs> Bob Burns, Artemis Fowl. Alan Collins. I mean, is there somebody that you heard, you remember, like, first time you heard them and you were like, wow, I want to do that? Or mm. Sturgill Simpson. That was the first one that I realized yeah. in this day and age somebody can make art like that. and uh, That's a good one. Um, and be successful at it. And then kind of went into the whole Jason Isbell and, and Tyler Childers. And, mm -hmm. yeah. I like to say Brent Cobb. Brent Cobb, too. Brent's a pretty yeah. good one. Yeah, I think when when we discovered Brent and Sturgill along with that, I think that really did change. Mm -hmm. It changed the way that we started, that we played music. It changed the way that we wrote music. It really, we started aligning goals, you know, like wanting to work with Dave Cobb stemmed from that, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. What you got, Brandon? Uh, as far as singing, uh, growing up, Bear Reinhardt from Need to Breathe was a big, <laughs> mm. listening to him and how he sang was uh I started trying to copy how he did it and then just getting older. Well, and then, of course, younger than that, all the old guys like Waylon and Jerry Lee Lewis, Johnny Cash and everybody. And uh, then Chris Stapleton come out and he just makes me want to quit. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, he's, he's another one. That, yeah, he's just – his vocal control is crazy. And yeah. Just trying to strive to be like something like that, man. It's that's, – that's, and then I – all the gospel groups I've listened to and all the old recordings, the old, some of the old opera singers, just uh, Luci Lu Luciano, Luciano pa Pavarotti. I think that's how you say his that name. That's the dude that made that one song that we listened to. Oh, you, you don't like, you don't like opera. I tried oh, to show, opera. I tried to show you opera and no. you didn't, you weren't Is about he a it. a big heavy set guy? They're all pretty big <laughs> heavy set. That's, I'm just saying because it's opera. No, I mean, you're Watch being that. heavy set helps you be a better opera singer. Did he do something with James Brown? Was that him? I don't think so. <laughs> who did? I want to know who you're thinking of. <laughs> I'm looking excited. <laughs> There's this video <laughs> of, crazy I want to say it's James Brown and this opera singer, and he's very famous, and they like do a show together. That was Oprah, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was Oprah. <laughs> I'm currently confused, but... I'm so confused, too. To add what Brandon is saying, we all kind of... Uh, brought some different music influence and we all just kind of listen to the to each other's music now like brandon introduced me to i used to hate country music when i first met him and then he introduced me like what real country music was yeah like the old waylon willie Merle. johnny cash that kind of stuff i really didn't listen and to southern rock for real waylon and stuff before meeting him uh, as well i'm the hick part of the band <laughs> well <laughs> The honky. You guys if you Dwight get Yoakam specific, fans? Brandon would be. Hell yeah, dude. What is it? You get any Dwight Yoakam fans in? Absolutely. Yeah, I think we all are. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when I saw him 
for the first time without that hat on. It was scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Somebody said I look like him, and he's an not he's an ugly dude. Yeah. <laughs> You almost like backpedaled on it, and then you just come in. Yeah, you I just did. seen it. You know what? I'm not holding back no more. You're being very D-Y-Yoakum, mean. Dwight Yoakam, I don't look like you. Shot, shots fired. Yeah. You're going to have Dwight Yoakam and Pete Davidson coming out. Yeah. yeah. And Rob Snyder. Yeah, what a combo. Yeah. Yeah. Rob Snyder. Yeah, he's, he said something about Rob Snyder on Theo, so I'm waiting on that to come out. Oh, God. Sometimes you just... I see. I just see black, and I just want to make someone laugh at the expense of like somebody I shouldn't be mean to. It's called bullying. Yeah, it's, yeah. you just explained. Well, it's like it takes me a couple bullying. hours after, like after that podcast. Brandon's like, uh, "Did you? Why did you? Why you did called you Rob that? Snyder an unattractive man." Yeah, why did you do that? <laughs> I was like, "Dude, I don't even remember saying that." Isn't L King Rob Snyder's daughter? Yeah, yeah. yeah. he talked about L King's That's look why I too. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> no, I did not talk about L King's looks. Uh, unless I said she, said looked she looks like, like Rob her dad. Snyder. You said she <laughs> looks like her dad. And then you that's said that Rob. Hand, that's a secondhand backhand comment, dude. But. She was really nice to us, Andrew. But that was the follow up. Brandon saved the day on that. <laughs> yeah. Well, we love El King, by the we way. We do love yeah, El. Yeah, we do. And, Rob Schneider. and he's a home. Rob Snyder. Yeah, we met Rob Snyder at one of El's shows, and he was super cool. He was very cool. They like had a had a he's meeting hilarious. before he got there. And was like nobody go up to him. Yeah, don't talk to him. Cool if unless that. he talks to you. And Brown was like, "That I'm going to meet Rob Snyder." <laughs> <laughs> Me and Drew were singing together with him on yeah, the side stage. That is a nice man. Part harmonies with him. <laughs> really, dude can sing too. He really, really? Yeah, yeah, we sang on stage with him too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> he did. Uh, she came in through the bathroom window. Yeah. Did the Joe Cocker version of it? Yeah, I tried to I tried to sing a Joe Cocker song with Elle, and she said, I don't think so. Joe Cocker songs are too hard. And then she sang that with her dad, and I was like, that's why you didn't do it. She was saving it. She was saving it. <laughs> she was lying. She yeah. was lying to you. She lied. <laughs> you, have a, Papa. you have a final question for him here? Go right ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, I was okay. going to give you give you a No, you. you had a question. both have a final question. Yeah. Don't yeah. About, your, about your purchase you made. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. What would you buy? So uh, I, I had this thing that... Everybody that has a vinyl, like like the, the, they sell a, any artist that we have, we have a vinyl, uh, I have them sign it, and then I'll frame it, and then I the picture that that, that we take with them afterwards that we, we post whatever, uh, I'll frame that, and then a l- little placard at the bottom that says the watering hole, the red clay straight episode. X, whatever That's super it is. Cool. will be 100. Episode 100. Episode hey. 100. Is this episode 100? It will be, yeah. Dude, right. congratulations. That's cool. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Hell yeah. So I was going to ask you guys if you're willing to. I I, I got, got got a vinyl from your uh, your merch booth I earlier. I hope you charged you double. He did charge me double. Just, Man, just you so you know. shouldn't have paid for it, bro. We can't sign it, though. <laughs> we actually yeah, paid a shipping fee. We're actually not allowed to sign them anymore. Are you not? That's oh, not a joke. Yeah, we really, cannot, we're not allowed to sign them. Anymore. We do have a set of stamps if you want that, but that uh, my stamp didn't come in, so you just yeah, don't get it, mine. It's only a couple of ours. Really? Okay, okay man, you can ask Juan. We can no, go, like ship totally you a stamp. Or something. Oh, okay. I was like, I was like, okay, yeah, that's yeah, fine. Whatever. Like a stamp. Very he was nice really about leading it. me on too. I was, like, I, was like, I was, I was, I was in on it too. I think. <laughs> <laughs> He's not <laughs> sure. I was like, I was like, okay, that's fine. We all start jokes and. uh we, we've known each other so long we can instantly just pick up and just yeah. but sometimes uh, we forget to tell the person that we're joking with that we're joking. <laughs> so like sometimes like people think like oh that he actually doesn't like me you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> just fucking forget to tell like, we really forgot them didn't we <laughs> yeah, our sense of humor is our own we, we, yeah. do, we were doing it to my brother Matthew one time <laughs> we, oh. I think about Juan we were about talking about our tour manager Juan because we, were, cause we, we met we met Juan on the L tour and we were we just hit it off real well with him, and he works with us now, and that's cool. But during the L tour, you know, we were best friends with the guy. And one time at a hotel lobby, we were talking up. Uh, Matthew I think it was walks me, up. Me, you, and Andrew. Oh, it was that Carter's guitar in Nashville. Yeah. Yeah. And we 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 were talking about it. Matthew walks up. And we were. Just, I just started. Yeah, I don't really like Juan. He's just kind of a piece of crap. And <laughs> yeah, he made us buy his lunch. Yeah, and then we birthday. we just birthday. started talking about. And Matthew's like, "Really? What? Yard two faced? Yeah, like, he's like." You guys are two faced. You need to go talk to Juan and tell him about all this. But right now, we're just totally joking, man. We, we let that it, ride it for a minute. It's out for like, I want to. Uh, At least an hour. Because yeah. we didn't tell him until we were in a hotel lobby at that thing outside that we played. Oh. Remember? That's our sense of humor. Fucking hilarious. Well, you got me for sure. Us. I was like, you yeah. got me. I was, I was like, that's fine. I'll, I didn't know at first. I'm, like, I'm still gonna yeah, frame it. I'm like, what is that? You can judge like, somebody oh. by how their reaction. Yeah. Is, so. Okay. Yeah, you handled yeah. that real uh, That's well. fine. Whatever. I'm cool with it. His yeah. heart was absolutely shattered. Yeah. 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 We can come sit in your camper I, I and do like, a podcast, like, but we can't sign your shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? 
<laughs> That's where yeah. we draw the line yeah. of signing yeah. shit, bro. <laughs> you give me it's sponsor? good. Yeah, sponsor it's good. It's so good. I I need you to look into this camera and say Iron Man. Iron Sombrero. It's not Middle Light. <laughs> All right, guys. It is well, good though. Yeah, we can't thank you enough for coming on thank and you. doing episode 100 for us. You yes. guys are awesome for that, and uh, we're super excited to see the show. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Yep. Thank, thank you all guys. for having us. This has been a good yeah. time. For thank real. Y'all. Thank are we going to do that shout out to Keeler? Or? Oh, okay. Of Absolutely. course. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, always. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Your little ass is going to do something. <laughs> you need it. Yeah, you need it. it. Yeah, why don't you squat a little bit? Oh, <laughs> yeah.